हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज श्रुति पवार वॉलेंटियर ऑफ अप्लाइड फोरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू आईपीसी एंड सीआरपीसी एंड इज रिटन बाय युक्ता गुगलोड सेक्रेटरी ऑफ अप्लाइड फोरेंसिक रिसर्च साइंसेस लेट्स मूव अहेड कंटेंट आई विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस वीडियो विल बी फर्स्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंडियन पीनल कोड सेकेंड इट्स हिस्ट्री थर्ड स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंडियन पीनल कोड फोर्थ arrangement of chapters in indian penal code and last is mcqs so ipc is indian penal code what is indian penal code basically it deals with the substantive civil and criminal laws of india secondly it defines offenses and prescribes punishment so ipc is a official criminal code of conduct of india it comprises several offenses and listed punishments it covers all aspect of civil and criminal laws of india and was enacted by imperial legislative council Now history of Indian Penal Code the draft of the Indian Penal Code was prepared by the first law commission chaired by sir Thomas Babington Macaulay in the year 1834 and was submitted to governor general of India in 1835 basically the draft of Indian Penal Code was made by first law commission by sir Thomas Babington Macaulay in the year 1834 and further it was given to governor general of India in the year 1835 second point the first final draft of indian penal code was submitted to the governor general of india in council in 1837 but the draft was again revised the draft was submitted to the council in the year 1837 but again it was revised the drafting was completed in 1850 and the code was presented to the legislative council in 1856 but it did not take place on the statute book of british indian until a generation later following the indian rebellion of 1857 as the drafting got completed in year 1856 the code was presented to the legislative council of india in year 1856 but further it did not take its place on statute book of british indian following to indian rebellion in the year 1857 Point number 4 the draft then underwent a very careful revision at the hands of Burns Peacock who later became the first chief justice of the Calcutta High Court and further Peons Judge of Calcutta High Court who were members of the legislative council and was passed into law on 6th October 1860 Point number 5 the code came into an operation on 1st January 1862 So my colleague did not survive to see the penal code he wrote came into force having died near at the end of 1859 As I said the code finally came into the operation on the date 1st January 1862 but unfortunately sir Macaulay did not survive and died in the year 1859 Sixth point this code came into force in Jammu and Kashmir on 31st October 2019 by the virtue of Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019 and replaced the state run bee penal code Indian penal code also came in the force on 31st October 2019 in Jammu and Kashmir and their old state's run bee penal code was replaced by Indian penal code Now we are going to talk about the structure of Indian Penal Code the Indian Penal Code of 1860 subdivided into 23 chapters comprises 5 11 sections the code starts with an introduction provides explanation and exceptions used in it and covers a wide range of offenses the Indian Penal Code of 1860 has 23 chapters and 5 11 sections Now the arrangements of 23 chapters in Indian Penal Code chapter 1 is introduction chapter 1 has introduction and there are five sections in it chapter 2 is general explanations in chapter 2 there are total 49 sections which explains a lot about important general terms like gender person government of india judge and many more chapter 3 of punishment here there are total 24 sections chapter 4 is general exceptions 
it has 31 sections chapter 5 is of abetment it has total 15 sections chapter 5a that is criminal conspiracy it has two sections first sections explain its definition and second it has punishment chapter 6 is of offense against the state it has total 12 sections mentioned chapter 7 of offenses relating to the army navy and air force it has total 11 sections chapter 8 of offenses against the public tranquility and it has total 23 sections chapter 9 of offenses by or relating to public servant it total contains 9 sections chapter 9a of offenses relating to elections it constitutes 9 sections chapter 10 of contempts of unlawful authority of public servant it has 20 sections chapter 11 of false evidence and offense against public justice it comprises 46 sections chapter 12 of offenses relating to coin and government stamps it has 35 sections chapter 13 of offenses relating to weight and measures it has four sections chapter 14 of offenses affecting the public health safety and convenience decency and morals it has 28 sections chapter 15 of offenses relating to religion it has total five sections chapter 16 of offenses affecting to human body it has total 101 sections chapter 17 of offenses against property has total 85 sections chapter 18 of offenses relating to document and to property marks has 34 sections chapter 19 of the criminal breach of contracts of services has total two sections chapter 20 of offenses relating to marriage consists six sections chapter 20a of cruelty by husband or relatives of husband has total one section chapter 21 of defamation has total four sections chapter 22 of criminal intimidation insult and annoyance has total eight sections and at the last chapter 23 of attempt of commit offenses has one section and in that punishment of attempting to commit offense is mentioned now at the last we have multiple choice question first indian penal code was enacted on and the options are a 7th october 1860 b 6th october 1860 c 2nd october 1860 and the d is 6th october 1862 do share your answers in comment section below and in the previous video topic examination of biological evidences part 2 the mcq question was under section 498a of ipc cruelty includes a harassment of the woman is the correct answer thank you for watching do like share and subscribe as well